higher education is meant to prepare students for a rapidly changing world, a challenge for colleges and universities in one of the whitest states in the nation. The admissions director at the state's largest university says about 10 and a half percent of the first year class in Durham are students of color. We're specifically reaching out to first generation multicult and, and multicultural students. Again, there's all sorts of different need, different populations and New Hampshire's got a very unique legal climate re with regards to affirmative action and, and admissions to colleges. He says the university is taking action on building community and providing supports to attract and keep a diverse student body that reflects the world they'll be stepping into. I know diversity is pretty low but I think they're doing a really good job in trying to incorporate everybody because there's a lot of events and multicultural clubs on campus and it makes me feel welcome personally as a person of color and I really like uh, what they're doing to try to make everyone feel good here. It's not just faculty in higher ed across the state that see the importance of having a diverse classroom, the students see it too. I've had classmates that haven't even met someone of a different race because they've lived in New Hampshire so I think it's important to like just broaden your horizons. New Hampshire's own younger population is actually growing in diversity. More than 20 percent of the high school class of 2018 self-identifying as minority. McGann says a broad coalition of people are working together across the state to incentivize going to college and doing it here. But we work with boys and girls clubs, we work with community organizations, we work with obviously school counselors. Each of the admissions staff members has a diversity outreach plan specific to communities. So what works in Nashua may not work in Pennsylvania. Um, so we have to be very mindful of that reality. In Durham, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.